Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a heartfelt story from Jim Jones, who recently shared some touching words about the late takeoff. As you might know, Jim Jones is celebrating a major milestone with his 2022 collaboration, We Set the Trends, which just received a gold certification. Let's dive into the details and what this means for Jim Jones, takeoff, and the future of Harlem's finest. So Jim Jones took to Instagram this past Thursday to celebrate the gold certification of his hit track, We Set the Trends, featuring the Migos. After two decades in the game, it's amazing to see Jim still collecting plaques. In his post, Jim couldn't contain his excitement and shared how special this moment is for him. He mentioned, you better check your temperature when you talking to a nigga in 2024 that been in this shit for 20 years and just got a gold record. See? You niggas know if I tap the foot, I got to tell you some motherfucking point. You heard? It just ain't about the motherfucking weather, but you better check your motherfucking temperature when you're talking to a nigga in 2024 that been in this shit for 20 years that just got a gold record. First of all, RP to take off, you heard? Rocket, I feel you. I love you, bro. You went gold on that. We set the trends, bro. You heard? You said, I need, I, I got one for you, unk. Told me load it up. I'm forever indebted to you, you heard? Take off, man, I miss you to death, you heard? Oh man, Quavo Offset, what's up, you heard? Migos, you heard? Last track, we went gold, I appreciate all your brothers, you heard? God is good. It's 2024. I'm going on my 20th year anniversary to my first album, which went gold, you heard? And at the climate that where music is running right now, it's a hurdle for artists like me in these age and time to have a gold record and god is good right but eat your heart out what's up nigga we just went gold holla at me you heard i'm back jack the bag been up you heard i'm just gonna rub it in your face right now fuck is up you heard what happened where you old niggas that holla at me you heard the office the office still stands i might take it to 250 you heard 300 let me see some i might take it to 250 you heard? i might take it I might take it to 250. What I got in? What I got in here right now? Who said I got the fuck in my pocket? Hold on, what I got in here? I might. I might take 300. Take it to 300. 300. They say take it to 300. I got 300 on the floor for your niggas that want to do anything. You heard? Meet me in the booth, nigga. Holla at me. It's up. 300 cash. Huh? Bring it to me. You heard? What really makes this celebration poignant is Jim's tribute to Takeoff. Jim revealed that it was Takeoff who brought him the track. He expressed his gratitude and sorrow saying, RIP to Takeoff, rock it, I feel you. I love you, bro. We went gold on that. We set the trends, bro. He said, I got one for you, Unc. Told me, load it up. I'm forever indebted to you. Take off, man. I miss you to death. It's a powerful reminder of how Takeoff's legacy continues to influence and inspire. Jim Jones is also gearing up for his new album, At the Church Steps, a follow-up to his classic 2004 debut, On My Way to Church. Last month, Jim shared on Instagram that he's working with legendary civil rights leader Ben Chavis Jr. for this project. Jim described Chavis as a significant figure who has been fighting for the community since the days of Martin Luther King Jr. He's even featured Chavis on what appears to be the opening track of the album. Jim reflected on this collaboration, saying, I remember watching the movie Belly and that speech he gave DMX moved me. It didn't feel like they gave him that as a script. It felt like he was praying in front of the camera. And at that time in my life, I needed that prayer. It's clear that this album will be more than just music. It's a tribute to the journey and the impact of those who've guided Jim along the way. In summary, Jim Jones is not only celebrating a gold record, but also paying homage to a friend and collaborator who left a lasting mark. As he prepares for his upcoming album, it's evident that Jim is blending his passion for music with a deep respect for history and legacy. Make sure to drop a comment below with your thoughts on Jim's tribute to Takeoff and what you're looking forward to from At The Church Steps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on your favorite artists. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.